Hello, teacher. Okay, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good? I'm fine. All right, that's nice. Okay, the time goes very quickly. Huh? This tempo va bien rápido, right? Fast. Yes. Imagine this is the second week. We are now six classes. It's incredible. Okay. So when are you going to start your vacation, people? When do you begin your, your vacation? Friday or until Monday? Friday? De nosotros, teacher. Uh -huh. At work? No, no, han dicho todavía, no sé. Ah, okay. So, but usually from Friday to one week or only three or four days? How many days? Ah, okay. No. Um, you don't know how many days? ¿Cuántos mm. días le están de vacación? No me sé que no le están. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's bad. Okay. And you, teacher? Uh, one week. Uh, I begin Friday. El Friday, finish this Friday. And I go back until next Monday. Monday, okay. Monday, 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 18th. Creo que el Monday, 18, ¿verdad? I bet si cambiamos teacher. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Pero después de vacaciones. Okay. <laughs> After the vacation, yes, okay. we can change. No, eh, yes, uh, that's what happens. Usually en, en educación casi siempre es una es una semana, semana la que dan de, de digamos de, de vacación. Casi siempre es igual, yes. Okay. ¿Y usted todo el día pasando clases? Pues, basically, yes. Because in the, in the no. morning, es de 7 a, de 7 a 12 y cuarto, más o menos. No todas las horas así seguida, pero tengo 3, 4. A veces, la más, que más días tengo son 5 horas en la mañana. Eh, Siempre no, es eh, con, con adolescentes en, en bachillerato. Ok, en, pero es, es presen, semipresencial, unos en línea y otros en, en, ¿cómo es que se llama? En, en así presenciales, right? Y, uh -huh. ver, en, y luego de, en la tarde, ya digamos de la una en adelante, es trabajo más de, de, de escritorio, voy a poner, por ejemplo, calificar exámenes, actividades, preparar clases, hasta las 3.50 más o menos. Then I come back here. Y luego... Always es, in English. ¿Ah? ¿no? Always in English. Always in English, yes. Always in English. Y luego de 6 a 7.50 más o menos, tengo la clase con, con la UCA, ¿ok? En la universidad, igual en línea but also in English, in the Escuela de Idiomas. And then with you. Uy, then todo I, el día. Sí, sí, todo el día. Básicamente y es... para rematar, termina con nosotros. No, esta es la clase que me relaja más. Este la, no por relajo que son ustedes. Pero... <laughs> <laughs> sí, 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 ahí que usted me... me sí, humildemente, mero relaja la... No, no. Este, no, lo que pasa es que quizás, no, incluso en bachillerato no es mucho los, ahora los chicos son que los como más, eh, que les dijera, tranquilos en ese sentido, right, they, they le ponen un poquito más de interés, entonces, porque lo, la, el, la, digamos, la, lo importante es cuando hay interés de parte del, del alumno, no se siente, digamos, como que, hey, qué terrible está esto, ¿no? el problema es cuando, a veces es un tema o una materia que, que no mucho les gusta. Entonces ahí como que hay un poquito más de indisciplina. Pero en este caso no. Entonces por eso es que no me siento muy como 
cansado o agobiado. Entonces, that's the And I like it. And also, I, yo disfruto mis clases. Ok. No sé si ustedes las disfrutan, pero yo sí. <laughs> then that's the, that's the point. Ok. So then, um, ¿y ustedes qué horario tienen? ¿De 7 a 5? No. ¿O de 8 a 5? De 7 uh, a 4.35. Ok. ¿Todos tienen el mismo horario o son diferentes? Son diferentes. Ah, ok. De 7 a 4.35. Y, ah, pero bueno, pero tienen hora de almuerzo, me imagino. No, teacher. 35 minutos. 35. Los chistes se cuentan solo, teacher, ah, cuando dicen hora de almuerzo. Pero no, pero no van el sábado, sí. No, solo cuando nos dicen. Ah, ok. Sí, porque, ajá, porque trabajan casi nueve horas diarias. Entonces, este... Demasiada, Baticha. Sí, sí. No, bueno, sí, de hecho... Incluso las ocho horas a veces se siente demasiado. Lo que pasa es que, bueno, es por los países eh, latinos. Hay países en los que ya no se trabaja tanto tiempo. ¿okay? Hay otros países en los que está haciendo mucho trabajo en casa y hay otras actividades. Pero acá en, bueno, no sé si toda Latinoamérica es de que el... Por ejemplo, hay trabajo que sí requiere que uno esté en el lugar. ¿verdad? Pero hay otros trabajos uh -huh. que sí se pueden hacer todavía desde casa. Entonces, pero a veces a los patronos, como se les llama, no les gusta mucho que, que estén desde casa, pues ya sabrá qué están haciendo, pero realmente a veces se, se puede hacer mejor, de, a veces hay cosas que se pueden hacer muchísimo mejor desde casa que, que digamos, este, que presencialmente. Entonces, pero yo creo que falta uh -huh. un poquito para que la gente cambie ese, 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 ese chip para empezar a... a Hacer que la gente realmente, porque es cansado, porque digamos que son nueve horas de trabajo, pero aparte de eso, si viven más o menos retiradas a sus casas, el transporte sí. de ida y de venida son que dos, tres horas. Pero a mí, eso es lo que, a mí eso es lo que a veces me cansa un poco más, porque digamos, tengo que salir a las, mis clases comienzan a las siete, bueno, entro a las siete, pero tengo que salir de la casa lo más tarde a las cinco, cinco y cuarto. Porque por el tráfico, para estar a sí. las seis y cuarto, unos media hora, 45 minutos antes. Y no, no, no ir así al filo de la hora. Y lo mismo al regreso es algo a las 3.50 y, y a veces estoy aquí a las 4.40 o a las 5. Son casi dos horas más de inversión en tiempo de, de transporte. ¿Okay? Y esto uh -huh. que a veces que en carro, en bus, es mucho más tiempo takes more time, but let's do it, right? Anyways, that's life. Now let's see, we have this one. Okay, so where did we stop last night? Okay, what is this green framework? Okay. Yesterday we were going to practice, remember, with there is and there are. Okay, there is and there are. Uh, can you see the el documento de Word, no, no lo ven. No. No, okay. No, teacher. We're going to make a change. Okay. Yes, now we can see it. For example, we have this one, which is I'm going to use that one. Can I use there is? Okay, and there are.
Okay, remember that when we talk about there is it's about uh, something, an object, a person. You can use this for objects, animals, or people. Okay. For example, you can say there is a man at the door. Okay, there is a man at the door. Only one. There is, you can use the, there is a dog in the street. Okay, I'm using here a person. Okay, I'm using a person. In the second one, what? What am I using? Paper. In the an, an animal, okay, animal. And there is um, a radio on the table. Okay, what am I using in the third one? What is this one? Rosa, a set. Uh huh. In English? Object or thing? Okay, object or thing. Now, in plural, this is singular. And then we have plural. Plural. We can use the same ideas. Uh, we're going to just copy and paste. And then we're going to use there are there are two men. Look at the changes. Por eso voy a usar las mismas eh, oraciones. There are There are some dogs in the street, animals. Okay, what would be the number three? What would be the number three? There are. Uh -huh. um, uh, two radio. Okay, there are two radio with on the table. And then you use objects or things. Okay, there you go. See the difference? So you can use, okay, singular, plural. But there is a big variety here, right? Because this is singular and also you can use affirmative. Okay, then we have a uh, copy and then we have paste.
And then we have negative. What is a negative form? There is not. There is not. There is not. Or you can use isn't. Okay, questions? And then you have this one. Then you have the affirmative. And then you have here the negative. What is the negative for the plural? There, there are not. Okay, there are not two men at the door. Okay, and here you're gonna use the same idea, but you're gonna change some for, uh, let me see, there is one. Okay, there is four. Any, and there are not any dogs in the street. Okay. Or you can... teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, any. Why, teacher? Okay. And there aren't two dogs on the road. Right. Some is animal. Okay, this one. Any? Una. Not any. Ninguna. Ningu exactly. Uh -huh. Ninguna, right? Okay. Andale. And el som is in affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences. Okay, and any is for negative sentences and questions. Okay. Okay, so there you have here the singular, the negative, and which one is missing? What has a fault? Plural. Sí, I have that in this one. Singular. Neg affirmative, singular, uh, negative, and singular. Affirmativa. Perdón. Interrogativa. Okay, interrogative. Ok, ¿quién me dice cómo va la interrogativa? ¿Se ocupan las dos? Me imagino que es como, ¿is there? Pues no se imagine, así es. <risa> mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Is there, okay. is there, is there a main adador? Exactly, look. E? Exactly. Question mark. 
question mark. Perfect. Is there, y aquí eliminamos la mayúscula, right? Is there, is there, any. Ah, podemos usar any, o solamente a. Ah. Si es uno, se puede usar a. Ah. Okay, se puede usar a or any, no problem. Is there any dog? Uh, is there? Is there? A radio? A table? Respuesta, yes. There is. There is. Or negative. No, there. No, there is. Isn't. 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 Okay, so you have the three. Okay, so you have the affirmative, in negative, and then you have the interrogative. Okay. Then in the in the plural, it's going to be the same, to be the same. The same process. The same. Okay, you're gonna use the same process. Okay, in which you have F. a copy, and then you paste it. And then you use here. Are there? Are there two men at the door? Then you can use here. Are there any dogs in the street? And you can also use here, are there? any radius on the table. The answers, yes. Yes, yes there are. Uh -huh, correct. Yes, there are or no, there aren't. Aren't. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the, the logic. You have to make the difference between a singular, plural, affirmative, negative, interrogative. Affirmative, the negative, and the interrogative, okay? Use los mismos ejemplos para que puedas hacérseles fácil. Eh, la, ¿Cómo es que se llama? La, la comprensión y, la, y memorizar la, la, la estructura, okay? Now. We can, now we can go back to the video. And now listen to the examples. Vean los ejemplos de aquí, que son diferentes, and then you can have, have more idea. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. 
There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there then the verb to be is is um, on the example is contracted as you can see there's we will use the article a the complement is bed in the bedroom we're going to do something similar okay uh, because since there is a lot of information como hay bastante información uh, Pregunto si hay alguna duda o algo por el momento o vamos bien. Muchas. No problem. Okay. Let's continue. With the next example. There's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence, we have there. The verb to be is is. Once again, on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article a because we are talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example, there isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now, let's look at the right-hand side of this chart. For these examples, we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula, there plus are or aren't, plus some or any or no, plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Either one is correct. Uh, finally, we have the complement. Chairs in the living room. For our uh, last example, there aren't any chairs in the living room. We start our sentence with there. Next, the verb to be aren't. After that, we're going to use any. It's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we're making negative statements. We can't say some, for example. Finally, we have the complement, 
chairs in the living room. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. After you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so then uh, before we do this one, let's do some practice. Okay, now let's talk about things that we have that is and that are. For example, you can use there are some lakes in El Salvador. Okay, Salvador. Okay, look at that sentence. It says, there are some lakes in El Salvador. Uh, we have Coatepeque, Ilopango, uh, Suchitlan. Suchitlan is artificial, but. And hay algunas otras que son lagun, como lagunas, right? But this is lakes. Uh, there are. There are some rivers in El Salvador. Okay, this is another one. Uh, there, there is an international International Airport in Comalapa. Okay. You see, I'm giving you other um, options. You can also use the objects in your house, right? For example, you can say that is um picture there is a picture in the living room okay now Escriban oraciones que se les vengan a la mente, right? No importa si están bien o mal, la idea es esa, que, que las escriban y ver, que prueben si es posible decir esto, si está correcto en singular, singular, plural. Ok, for example, um, there is, there are. There are, uh, there are some restaurants in San Salvador. Yes, that's right, Jennifer. Okay, good. There are some restaurants in San Salvador. Yes, what else? You can, y si no lo pueden escribir por alguna razón por el chat, me las pueden decir, ok, me las, no problem, Jenny. Me las pueden decir verbalmente. There are some people in the party. Yes. Yes, in the party. Ok, good, Jenny. There are some people in the party. There are schools. In San Salvador, in El Salvador, yes, there are schools. Yes, in El Salvador, yes. Okay. Schools in El Salvador, what else?
Remember, there is, there are singular, plural, singular, plural. You can use negatives, right? For example, there aren't any elephants in El Salvador. We are learning English. Yes, Jocelyn. Hey, there are no chocolate bars. That's terrible, Brandon. There are no chocolate bars. Yes. There are no possibilities There are no possibilities to go to Qatar. Yo que hasta había ahorrado para ir allá. Voy a tener que gastar todo ese dinero. Anyways, que ganando. There are in any... <laughs> yes, Brandon. <laughs> yes, Brandon. There are in any... Okay, there isn't. There isn't any piece okay there isn't any piece okay there isn't any piece in Japan. okay because it's a uh, i'm gonna uh, esta lo le dije singular y están las que son plural y hay palabras que no tienen plural por ejemplo Peace, uh, sugar, uh, water, uh, what else we have, uh, salt, son los, no, los sustantivos que son uh, incontables, right, que no son contables, por ejemplo, money, El dinero, o sea, even my work, yes. Eh, money, el dinero, la palabra dinero no tiene plural, porque no se puede contar. Lo que se cuenta es, son las monedas, los billetes, ok? Pero el dinero en sí, la palabra, palabra, palabra dinero, no se puede poner en plural, ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, dirían, ok, let's see, there aren't any books in my desk. Yes, Jenny, very good. Uh, there isn't any money in my bank look at that one there are some hospitals in San Salvador, Oscar. Yes, that's good. Okay, there isn't any money in my bank account. But no hay nada de, de dinero en mi cuenta de banco. Okay, there isn't any money in my bank account. Todo debajo del colchón. Okay, under the mattress. Under the mattress. Ya quisiera. Right? What else? There is a lamp in my bedroom. There is no security these days. Jocelyn, very good. Uh -huh, exactly, right? There is no security these days. Yes. Jocelyn, Lillian, there is a lamp in my bedroom. Perfect. 
very, very good. Is there an ocean in Bolivia? No, I think there is no ocean, Brandon. Is there ocean in Bolivia? No, I think it's very high. Okay, good. No, there isn't. There are no plans for this weekend. Okay, there are no plans for this weekend. Okay, oh, there are no plans, but if there is only one, there is, if I suppose in, in numbers, there is no plan for this weekend. Okay. Is there a plan? Oscar, is there a plan for this weekend? Is there a plan for this weekend? Yes. Uh, yes, there is. Okay, yes, there is. Okay. Very good. Okay, people, good. Questions? Now we're going to check on the um, knowledge check and see, for example, the five, five questions only that we have. And we're gonna get started with Ivania. What is the number one? I don't have a refrigerator, okay? I don't have a refrigerator, okay? Then there is a refrigerator. There are no refrigerator. There are some refrigerator or there is not refrigerator. A, B, C, or D. Um, there are some refrigerator. Yes. Singular or plural? Singular. Okay. Are um, singular or plural? No. Okay. And I don't have a refrigerator, Ivan. There are no. There? No. There is no. Okay. There is no refrigerator. Okay. Suppose, ladies and gentlemen, Guardeme, estoy en el refrigerador, estoy llega a la cocina y dice, hey, there is no refrigerator here. Y aquí no hay refrigerador, right? Then say, oh no, it's in the living room. Okay, it's in the living room. Ah, está en la sala. Okay, there you go. There is raro, pero ahí está. Okay, good. Eh, Jenny. Not Jennifer, Jenny. Okay, Jennifer, Jenny Bautista. There is no, I don't have curtains in, on the windows. So there is no, there are no, there are some, there aren't any. Mm, there are, there aren't any. Okay. Dice que para mí hay dos respuestas ahí, pero ya vamos a ver al final. There aren't no. There aren't no. There aren't any. No. Or two. This one, right? There are no. Okay. Okay. Yo creía que está correcto. Good. Next one. No. Uh, Jennifer, I don't have I... any rocks on the floor. Mm -hmm. Two teacher. 
two. Mm -hmm. There are no racks on the floor. Mm -hmm. Only? Mm -hmm. Sí, yes. Okay, no hay otra? Hey, me salté dos aquí. Okay. Vamos a ver. And this one. Uh, let me check. Oscar. Number one. I have some chairs in the kitchen. I have some chairs in the kitchen. Yes. They, there, there are, no. There are? There are some. Okay. Good. Thank you. And let's see, Milagro, number two. Milagro. One there teacher. One. There. There. I have. Uh, some, I have a stop in the kitchen. No. 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 Yes. Okay. There is a stuff in the kitchen. Good. Okay. Sale va a salir mala, teacher. ¿Cuál? La penúltima, porque marcó dos. Okay. Pero fíjese que para mí las dos están bien. There are no curtains. Pues de estaríamos de eliminar esta, digamos. Ok. Aunque aquí, por ejemplo, debería ser esta también. Right. Tenemos que eliminar esta si seguimos a eso. Let's see. No. No, mire. There are no. Yo creo que son las, son las dos. But anyways. Vamos a ver. No. Sí, mire, están bien. Pero acá la otra, there are no. So then there is no. So there are no. Okay. No se lo okay, there aren't any. No sé por qué, pero debería de utilizar las dos porque there aren't any is also right. Okay. But then you have. Pero cuando hagan el ejercicio, ya saben que les va a salir. Posiblemente tienen que escoger solo una, right? Okay. Let's see that in the possible answers. And okay, let me see this one. Show answers. They're already there. Okay. Now, questions about some, any, ah, uh, no. There is, there are? Some. Okay, some, no problem. Okay, con unos, unos, okay, unos o algunos. When you use some, it's going to be for unos o algunos. Hay otras reglas para usar el some que la van a ver más adelante, pero ahorita creo que con esta información es sufficient. Okay, in the next one we have, okay, some reading. Okay, we have some reading. Okay, vamos a practicar un poco la lectura. Okay, so we have this one. Say two special houses. Two special houses. Pon atención a la pronunciación, pronunciation and vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details. Reading. Two special houses in the American Southwest. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Ms. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Ms. Cisneros' house are white or beige, 
so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Ms. Cisneros loves it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood-burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. It has three chairs, two... Okay. I'm going to usarlo acá, right? So that you can see. Eh, se lo voy leyendo y se encuentran palabras nuevas, me dice, okay? In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. Are we okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Nerus's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Nerus loves it. Are we okay in this one? Okay. Good. The next one. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes. Called Hoggins. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three shirts, has three three shirts. on the bed, on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Mr. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Teacher? Yes. What is the meaning guess her guess? Ah, eh, sus, sus invitados. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Her neighbors, ¿qué significa? Which one? Her neighbors. Ah, neighbors, vecinos. Sus vecinos, her neighbors. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. No problem. Okay, y la, y la única que creo que hay que es el Hogan, right? Que el Hogan es como, ahí se ve la fotito abajo, que es como una casa de bajarek, que, que es hecha de troncos y, y tierra, right? And then it has... It's a small one, so that's the house. Será en la casa de los, una tradicional choza de los navajos, okay? And 
de los indios navajos en América. Ok, so you can see the picture here. Se ve como un iglú, que son de los esquimales en Alaska, pero que okay, son de hielo. Este se ve así redondito, igual como que fuera un domo. Ok, so that's the one. Se mira como una casta de piedra. Uh -huh. Es como lo que conoceríamos nosotros acá como bajareque, ¿verdad? Así de tierra y vara de castilla, creo que la hacía. Pero que estos son con troncos y tierra, ¿ok? O lodo, like we said in Spanish. Uh -huh. Two beds. <laughs> es la casa, es la, la piña, la casa de piña en el fondo del mar. Ok, that's Bob Sponge. <laughs> Ok. Ya me recordó a Bob Sponge. Good. Es on the floor and a wood burning stove. Ms. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Ok. Then, there, is a, there are some questions about the reading. For example, uh, Sandra Cisneros' house, okay, there is a three chairs, many books, colorful porch with a pink floor, two beds, wood burning stuff. Then it says, read the text from the list, select the correct articles from each house. You don't need to type the period at the end, okay? So the first one here is, there is a what? You have to find if it is singular or plural, okay? There is a, three shares, no puede ser porque es plural, right? There is a, many books is plural. There is a, colorful paintings is plural. There is a porch with a pink floor, singular. There is a, two beds is plural. There is a wood burning stuff. This is singular. Okay, so we have two choices. This one and this or one. Wing with a pink yes. floor. Yes. Porch with a pink floor. Okay, so this is the number one. Then when you see the number two, there are you have to see in the order right in the order so you have for example to see a for say hotels or some people stay tradition native americans i oh, know this is the one about something uh, there is a purple house colorful there is paintings color colorful paintings. paintings okay this one Okay, and the next one. Colorful paintings. What else do we have in Mr. Ms. Sandra Cisneros house? Uh, just interesting stories, the house, the rooms, there are many books, okay, there are, and you have many books, okay, and the last three, Lorraine Nelson's house, okay, let's see, Lillian, which one is the number one, Jocelyn number two, and Reina number three. Okay, Lillian. Podría bajarlo para ver. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. This um. is. Híjole, no muere del perrito. Okay. I have to say three shares, two 
vets or wood burning stuff? These are the three options. Three chairs, like a quarter primero, two beds, wood burning stuff. One of those three. Three chairs. Exactly. Three chairs. Ah, but in singular. There are three chairs, maybe the next one. The number one. Obviously there is. What is the next one, Jocelyn? Number two, number one. There's two beds in the four. Two beds. Beds in the four. This one would be here. Okay, and the first one, Reina. La última opción, the last option. There is. Mm -hmm. Singular. Wood burning. Yes, wood burning stuff. Okay, that's the wood burning stuff. Probably the position that we will see here. Okay, there we go. So basically it's comprehension, vocabulary, but also the, the, the structure and the function. La función es when the sum, any, if it is, if it is singular, there are plural, many plural, uh, there is a good singular, that is the function. Okay, and that's that's it for today. Okay, with this one we finished the uh, the number the section two. Tomorrow we are going to start with the. Uh, okay, vamos, vamos a comenzar con un repaso de Liz Derar. Si tienen preguntas, voy a darles un par de minutos por si tienen preguntas de la uno sección uno y dos y. Si no hay preguntas, vamos a comenzar con what do you do? Ok, and what do you do? Vamos a hablar de empleos. Common jobs. Ok, vocabulary for common jobs. Okay. Vamos a usar vocabulario para los empleos más comunes. Ok, people, that's it. So, thank you for everything. So, see you tomorrow. Have a very good night. See you. Sure. Okay. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, you too. Bye.